Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It's time for a new business favorites video where I will share with you the tools and resources that have helped me in my business during the month of May. So here they are in no particular order, starting with this book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. I've read this book before, a few years ago, probably before I even started my business, but for some reason I reached for it again this month and I'm seeing things in a completely different light this time around. Because obviously I am in a different place now than I was when I first read it. And I like going back to books and rereading them again years later. I always find something new in them, so to speak. As the title suggests, um, this is a book about habits, but it's not written in the style of James Clear's Atomic Habits. This one is about shifting one's paradigm in order to change yourself first and then see the results of those changes around you, in your environment, your relationships, your work, your business, etc. I'm not going to dwell on it too much. I assume that most people know of or have read this book already, but if you haven't, then I recommend you pick up a copy. My second favorite is a podcast. It's called Turn Your Followers Into Clients and it's hosted by Vanessa Lau, who also has a very popular YouTube channel. I will link both her channel and her podcast together with everything else I mentioned in this video in the description box below. Vanessa runs a business helping people grow their brands through the power of social media, specifically Instagram. And although that's not my thing, a lot of the business advice she offers is sound and makes sense. Her podcast was discontinued for a while, but she launched it again recently. And one of the episodes is about the mistakes that she had made, which made her abandon her podcast and what she's doing differently this time around. I don't have a podcast, but if you listen to that episode, you will see that some of those mistakes can be made by someone with a blog or a YouTube channel. So again, sound advice overall. I really recommend you check her out. This month I had to work on some workbooks and other materials that I created as fillable PDFs, meaning that when someone opens those workbooks, they can fill them in without having to print them out or download any other software. You can do this with Adobe Acrobat, which costs between 13 and 15 pounds a month. However, especially if you're just starting out, you don't need to purchase Acrobat if that's the only feature you would be using it for. Instead, you can use a tool called PDF Escape which allows you to create fillable PDFs for free. All you need is the PDF template and inside the tool, you'll be able to add text and other types of fields and then download your new fillable PDF. If you want to create great looking PDFs and want to use templates, Canva is my next recommendation and my next favorite. You probably already heard of Canva. It's a free tool that's very versatile and that is what I use to create my PDF workbooks. I also use it to create the thumbnails for my YouTube videos. And speaking of thumbnails, my next favorite tool allows you to take any picture and remove its background for free. You can do that with Canva, but you have to use the premium version of it. However, remove background is an online tool where you can upload a photo and it will remove its background for free. After that, you can adjust it a little, add another background if you want, and then download it, and you have different resolution options to do so. It's very easy to use, and I use it for every thumbnail where I want to remove the background of my photos. I'll link it for you in the description box below. Building and running a business is costly, so I am an advocate of minimizing or eliminating costs when possible, and I talk more about it in this video where I also share a website that I use all the time to keep costs in check. Since we're talking money, another favorite of mine is a bank. Yes, you heard that right, a bank. I use Starlit Bank both personally and for my business and I absolutely love it. If you've never heard of it, Starling Bank is a digital challenger bank based in the UK and they won many awards for good reason. They have an app that is fantastic I don't have to pay any commission or admin fees like I did when I first started the business and I was with another bank. They notified me of payments and income received instantly. I can set aside money for tax and other predictable expenses right inside the app. It's absolutely genius and I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I am simply a happy customer who wants to spread the word. If you're getting value from the video so far and want to spread the word about my work, 
please feel free to do so. You can start by giving it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos, leave a comment, you know how this works. It really helps to support the channel and I thank you in advance if you do. My next favorite is a Medium publication. If you don't know what that is, a Medium publication is a collection of articles or stories, as they're called on Medium, all centered around a topic. I have my own publication on Medium, Coaching for a Living, which is about the business of coaching. Now, my pub will always be a favorite of mine, but the one I want to mention this month is Better Marketing. As the name suggests, this is a publication about marketing. In their own words, a publication by and for marketers. I published a story with Better Marketing at the end of May and that story has performed so well already. I will leave the title on the screen here as I'm afraid I might mispronounce a word in particular and I don't want YouTube to sanction me for it. Anyway, I'm super proud of this title and apparently it resonated with a lot of people. However, that is not due to the publication, that's due to me. But the process of submitting, the communication I've had with the editing team before publishing and after was extraordinary. They did their best to share the story with their audience inside and outside Medium and they have kept me in the loop at all times. I have published with big publications before on Medium, but this one was one of the best experiences I've had as a writer working with a publication. So I'd like to extend a big thank you to the Better Marketing team for making the process so smooth and enjoyable. It really makes a huge difference for a writer and it speaks to their professionalism and work ethic. It also shows that they value their writers and I will definitely be submitting to them again in the future. If you don't know much about Medium and you'd like to find out how I use it to promote my business and showcase my expertise while being paid for it, you can watch this video where I explain my strategy. That being said, these are all my monthly favorites for the month of May. I'm thinking of doing these favorites every couple of months going forward or even once a quarter maybe. And that is because I tend to stick to the same tools and resources for my business, otherwise they wouldn't be favorites, would they? I'm not sure yet, let me know what your preference is as well and we'll take it from there. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, you might like these other two as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Alisa and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.